I studied my medicine or my MBBS abroad and not in my home country. Am I eligible for a post-graduation in Germany? If you are one of those people looking for that particular answer, that's what we're going to answer today in this video. Namaste and welcome to my channel. I'm Rohit and I am going to help you figure this one out. So watch till the very end. Let's get started. A post-graduation Germany has become a hot topic in the last decade or so, especially from the people coming from the Indian subcontinent. Owing to factors like high reservation quota, huge competition and very less seats available in reputable institutions, combined with the fact that you do spend multiple hours and multiple years training to become a doctor and yet there is very less recognition for the work you do as a doctor leads to increasing dissatisfaction, which has made going abroad a very popular topic. Post-graduation in Germany is one of those options available to people who wish to pursue their medicine, their knowledge and their craft in a more international and renowned institution. Post-graduation in Germany is among the few countries such as USA, UK and Australia who offer you that option of working in a world-class institute. But post-graduation in Germany is also akin to challenges. It is not easy as previously thought to come to this country. Like every other country on the planet, Germany itself also has requirements that it expects the students who come to Germany to fulfill. The MBBS in Germany looks like this. It has two years of four clinicum, three years of clinic and one year of practices year. Now what does that mean? It involves two years of preclinical subjects, three years of paraclinical and clinical subjects and one year of practical internship which makes it a grand total of six years of education that you need to have completed to be deemed equivalent in your MBBS in Germany. After fulfilling these requirements of six years of medical education studied in the German language you are eligible to automatically receive the medical license also called the approbation so what we understand here is as a foreign student what we are required to prove to enter Germany for equivalency and receiving the medical license are the following criteria a completed MBBS of six years including a completed one year of internship or practical training competency of medical German and a registered medical license when you fulfill all of these requirements then you will be allotted the approbation or the medical license of Germany and you will then be eligible to start a post graduation in Germany however for us as international students it is important to note that when we do not fulfill any of these requirements we have to prove by giving exams that we are capable of doing these things now i will elaborate all of this by giving you a few examples you studied for six years you studied for 12 semesters you have completed your one year of mandatory internship or practical training you even managed to get the license of the country you studied in but you did not study in German, which means you lack the competency of medical German. So if you want to start your post-graduation in Germany, the one and only thing you will need is to be able to prove your competency in medical German by giving an exam. And that exam is called the Fachsprachprüfung, also called the Fachsprachen prüfung or the medical language test now i have discussed elaborately about the fachsprachen prüfung and what you need to do and how you need to do it and if you're interested in knowing about that you can click on the link above that shows up on my video right now it will also be put in the video description down below in case you miss this link you can always search for it down there. What is a Fachsprachprüfung and how do you go about the preparations? Now let's move on to the next situation that is possible. Let's say you've studied your MBBS abroad, you've completed your education. However, you have not completed your internship. Internship meaning the practical part that comes after you've completed your 
nine or ten semesters of theoretical study also called the practices yeah you have not completed that and hence you also do not have a medical license registration so what you need now to be able to come and work as a postgraduate in germany are two things one you need to complete your internship of one year that is mandatory to be then counted that you've completed your MBBS completely. Remember, my friends, having just studied for four and a half years or five years of theoretical knowledge in lecture halls, it does not count as a complete education. You have to, and this is all around the world the same, that you do a practical part called the internship of one year or 12 months of rotating departments across the hospital for me it used to be internal medicine general surgery orthopedics dermatology psychiatry gynecology those were the subjects i had to rotate through to be then eligible for a completion and the reception of my medical degree and that is the same for you so if you have not completed your internship as of yet you absolutely have to complete that internship before you can even begin preparing for a post graduation in germany now remember this because i get asked this question repeatedly in the comment section that you cannot i repeat you cannot complete your internship in germany if you have not studied in germany and have studied somewhere else in the world it doesn't matter where you have to complete your internship before you start the procedure of coming for a post graduation to germany and the second thing in this example that we're dealing with is since you have not completed your degree you need to complete your degree by doing an internship and then applying for a medical license registration a medical license registration is given to you by the country state whichever health department which looks at you your education that you've collected assesses it and deems it equivalent for you to be and practice as a doctor in that country for you to be able to apply to a post graduation in germany you need that medical license now, of course, there are some of you who are now wondering, I studied in one country, I did my internship in that country, but I am not able to complete or apply for a license in that country. I have completed my MBBS, I've completed my internship, I just do not have the license and I'm unable to go back to that country because it's not my home country. What do I do? Where do I get the license from? Well, there is another way possible for you. But before I discuss that, I need to address this question. Why should you listen to me in the first place? Who am I to give you this advice? What qualifies me to sit here and advise you and tell you all there is that you need to know about a pathway to a post-graduation to Germany? Well, friends like you, I started this research about post-graduation to Germany seven years ago in my home country in India. I also wanted to know this and I spent thousands of euros and hundreds of hours researching on Google and finding out the exact pathway that I could for me, which eventually made it possible for me to come to Germany and get registered as an approbierter Arzt or a licensed doctor and now i want to make that possible for you you my friend are at the right place to get advice from the right person to get guided by the exact person who can tell you the steps you need to take for your future as a postgraduate in germany so i now share my knowledge through this youtube channel my facebook group a newsletter and my courses all of it is available for you to either access for free or for purchase so that you can get the best and the high quality knowledge that you deserve to be able to chart your pathway to a post graduation in Germany. If you have been finding value in this video up till now, I request you to hit the like button now because it 
helps me out spread the message of this video and my knowledge to more people around the world and to you it doesn't cost more than a second of time so please hit the like button if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button and do remember to check out the links to my newsletter to my facebook group and my courses all of those links in my video description below all right where were we the question about you not having a license registration from the country you studied in and that it is impossible for you to go back to that country and get a license as i said there is another way possible for you so now we discuss that simply said it is possible for you to get a license registration either from the country you studied in or the country you were born in for example you studied in china russia ukraine philippines malaysia whichever country you studied from but you do not belong to this country and let's say you belong to ghana or south africa india or bangladesh pakistan nepal whichever country is your home country there are simple ways to come back to your home country give an entrance examination and get a medical license registration this medical license that you now have from your home country can also be submitted as a proof to then start your path for a post-graduation in Germany. It is accepted, however, not in all of the 16 states in Germany. It is accepted in some of those states. But the good news for you is that the pathway still is accessible, remains open, and if you choose to access this pathway and clear the exams, you will have the same license and the same rights as I do as a licensed doctor in Germany. It's the same as everybody else. I think it's a great news. If you want to know the list of states which do permit people like you who want to have a license from their home country, but have studied somewhere else. And if you want to know which states they are, sign up for my newsletter using the link down below and I will share it with you on the newsletter. And there are more than a thousand doctors just like you already a part of that. So remember to sign up for that newsletter. Now, what if you've completed your MBBS in your country? You've completed the internship in your home country. You also have a medical license from your home country, like I did and now you want to go to Germany. The pathway for you is also complex, but it can be put down or broken down or simplified into two more requirements you need to submit. And that will be proof of medical German competency and proof of medical knowledge competency. And what does that mean? It means one, you prove your medical German competency by giving the Fachsprachprüfung exam of which we've already spoken about previously in this video, also called the FSP or the Medical German Test. And you have to prove your competency in your entire MBBS. What have you learned? Can you diagnose a patient who comes to you with acute chest pain? What kind of diagnostic steps would you take? What kind of management would you do of a patient who comes on into your emergency department with a knife stab in the chest or in the abdomen? So that is is the competency that you need to prove with another exam which is called the KP Kenntnisprüfung or the knowledge exam. Now I have also made a detailed video about the knowledge exam and those links are also available here on the video right now and they are also linked in the video description down below. So if you want to know more about what Kenntnisprüfung is you can click on those links and know more. So I hope that you understand that the question we began with as a doctor who studied MBBS abroad, are you eligible for a post-graduation in Germany? The short answer is yes, you are. But there are complexities and conditions attached to the entire process. So I hope you've received that answer through this video. If you ever need help or a targeted consult to your individual problems we can also get on a call for which the link is also down below in the video description if you've already begun your pathway by learning the language or are struggling to apply 
on your pathway to Germany because there are other nitty gritties also associated with it. I have made some courses which might be supremely helpful to you. They are affordable, low cost and high quality. So remember to check them out also in the video description down below. And remember to subscribe to that newsletter. Hit the like button if you haven't done that already. Thank you so much for staying with me till the very end. I hope you found value in this video. I will see you in the next video. Namaste. Alles Gute.